Hey, this is Kip, and in this video, we're going to look at the latest update to the Garmin G1000 NXi, which is version 020. If you already have the NXi mod installed, you can update it within your simulator by going to My Profile and then Content Manager. And if you don't have it installed, just head over to the Marketplace and search for G1000 and make sure you have it filtered for free mods. The first feature I want to go over was actually in the first release of the NXi, but I want to make sure everyone knows about it. So if I go to the waypoint entry screen by using the FMS knob, typically you do this by turning the inner FMS knob to choose the letter, and then you use the outer knob to move the cursor one space so you can put in the second letter and so on. But a really cool feature of the NXI is this little white button up here. This is the keyboard entry mode button. So if you click on this, you can then type with your keyboard and type in the waypoint. Lightning quick, quicker than you can even do it in real life. When you're done doing that, make sure you click the button again to turn it off. Otherwise, a bunch of things won't work. So get in the habit of turning it on, typing, and then immediately turning it back off. The first major new feature is the ability to insert airways into your flight plan. So instead of a waypoint, I can click on menu, and then you can see this new load airways option. Click enter, and it'll bring up a new airway screen where you can select an airway. It pre-selects one for you, which may or may not be the correct one, but in either case, you actually need to roll the inner FMS knob. The enter button won't work right now. So you roll the inner FMS knob. I'm doing that with my mouse wheel, and that'll bring up the possible airways for you to select from, then hit enter once you've selected the correct one. Then it'll load all the possible exit waypoints. So that's a waypoint that you leave the airway from, basically like taking an exit on the freeway. And you keep turning the inner knob until you find your exit waypoint. Once you find it, hit enter to select it. Now what happens is it shows you basically all the waypoints from when you enter until you exit the airway. So you'll have all of these in your flight plan for reference. So you'll know when you're passing by each specific waypoint on the airway. So next we just need to use the outer knob to scroll past those down to load and then hit enter when load is highlighted. Now in the flight plan, you can see the airway is listed. Airway Victor 298, exiting at Papa Delta Tango. And here you'll also see each waypoint that will cross over as we get to our exit waypoint. So I have another airway to enter for my flight plan, so I'll move down to this blank area and then hit menu again. Then hit enter to select the load airways option. Then rotate the inner FMS knob, and in this case I need to choose Victor 4 and then hit enter to select Victor 4. And then once it's loaded the exit waypoints, use the inner knob again to select the correct exit waypoint in your flight plan. And for my plan, it's Bravo Kilo Echo. So I'll go ahead and hit enter again. And once again, you can see a list of all the waypoints that will cross over until we exit at our exit point, Bravo Kilo Echo. So once again, use the outer knob to load it. So I use the outer FMS knob, roll down to load, and then hit enter. And now you can see the second airway is also added to our flight plan. Now you can see that there's a lot of waypoints kind of cluttering up our flight plan page. What you can actually do is go to menu and then choose this option, collapse airways. If you hit enter, that'll collapse them down to a single line like this. And what's really cool is during your flight, it'll automatically expand each of those airways. So you can see as you cross over each point during your time on that airway, and it'll automatically collapse it again when you exit the airway. The next major improvement in 020 is the ability to change the orientation of the map on the MFD. So by default, it's in a heading up mode. But now if you go under the menu button on the right, you'll find this new section called map settings. So you just hit enter to go into map settings. And by default, the group at the top is map. And then we can use the outer knob to go to these settings here. So we have orientation. So by default, that's in heading up. But first, let's look at this one, north up above. What this will do is let you specify a range in miles. So if you zoom above this range, this zoom level on the map, it'll automatically switch to north up mode. So I've set it at 100 miles. So if I zoom up, you can see I'm at 75, now 100. If I zoom once more, there it is automatically in north up mode. And as soon as I change the range back down to 100 miles or lower, it'll go back to heading up mode. 
If you want to use north up mode at all zoom levels, just go into the menu under map settings again, use the outer FMS knob to choose heading up and then change that with the inner knob to north up. Then hit enter and now it'll always be in north up mode. I personally prefer north up mode because a lot of the time I'm referencing charts like departures, arrivals, and approach charts, and all of those charts are in north up orientation, so it's nice for them to match. Another new feature allows you to change the brightness of both the screens. On the PFD, if you click on menu, you'll get this setup menu. You can see that you can change from auto mode to manual mode. You just do that by using the outer and then inner FMS knobs, then hit enter to change to manual mode then the outer knob to move over to the percent value, and the inner knob to change it to whatever setting you want it to be at. I'll be making videos like these whenever there are major updates to the NXI, so keep a lookout for those. And I'll also be making a more thorough flight planning video once the NXI is a little more mature. But for now, you can expect videos like this just going over the new features. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.